blue air refrigeration. They're basically the counterfeit Hoshizaki when it comes to an ice machine. When it comes to everything else, they basically have nothing in common. I need to replace the defrost temperature sensor, the coil probe. I might as well show you just how well built these units are in the process. I'm not sponsored, so I'm allowed to give you an unbiased review. Most region freezers have some way of evaporating the condensate or something like that. Yeah. Blue air is just have a tub with a 12 volt computer fan. It stays full of water, so if you shake the thing around, it dumps water all over the floor. And of course, that fan fails. It starts throwing an error message. And you'll buy the little fan from them. It's the only company that uses a 12 volt computer fan on a refrigeration system. So I need to manually defrost this. All reach in freezers, except for Blue Air, have a button on them somewhere you can push to manually defrost them. No, not these. Here's what we have to do to defrost this one. Here, take this cover off. Stick magnets on the door switches. Open up this electrical box to reveal literally the cheapest made control board in the industry right here. Check this out. I'm going to unplug the transformer and plug it back in. Did you hear that? A goofy little sound effect. You guessed it. They're also the only people in the industry that did that. So anyway, as for defrosting this thing, here's what we have to do. Forget all about this wiring diagram. It doesn't reflect the actual wiring. There's only one way to manually defrost one of these freezers, other than unplugging it for a day. This wire is the evaporator fan, and this wire is the defrost heater. And this wire does nothing. So, we unplug the evaporator fan, and we plug the defrost heater into the slot that the evaporator fan belongs in. But wait, the compressor's still running. What are you supposed to do about that? All you can do, just pull the wire off of the relay to kill the compressor. Yeah, that is what you have to do to initiate a manual defrost on a blue air freezer. Because they just didn't see fit to put any provision in there for that even though all of their competition did. So while that's defrosting, let's have a quick little tour of this thing. We've got the wiring harness, which is just strewn about all over the place, just sitting there. We have the line set insulated with open cell foam. That's saturated right now. No one else uses open cell foam. It's cheaper than closed cell foam. There's no door frame heaters like all other commercial freezers have. Instead, they've chosen to run the liquid line through the door frame. See that? Look at the size of the liquid line. Reach-in freezer, two door, 3 16 liquid line. And the puny little baby filter dryer. This is built just like a residential fridge. It's a capillary tube metering device as well, you know, all the other competition they use. A TXV most of the time. They've, they've just opted for the cheapest way to do everything on these. So, now that it's defrosted, we can take the sensor out. Here's the wire. And here's the sensor. Yeah, that's the sensor. You never guess who else uses sensors like this in a commercial freezer? That's right, nobody. So now that's done. And the power's off. We can put this back how it belongs. Yeah. 
Oh, I almost forgot to mention. This is where the power switch is located. Really small, hard to see. Of all places to put it. Good job. These things are a joke, man. You gotta love that, man. It really is like a toy. <laughs> 